purchased this 8-man C450 dash camera and I'm gonna put it in my car, but first I wanna go ahead and open it up and check it out. Let's see what's included. All right, so first thing we have, of course, is the user manual and pretty thick, but it's just repetitive in different languages. So it looks like just the first little part of it is what you need. And then here's the camera, super tiny. You can see, pull it out. And it's just really, fits on the palm of my hand. Okay, so super tiny. And then let's see what else is in here. Come on out. Um, a little thingy, don't know what that is yet. We'll figure that out. And then inside here, there's just a whole bunch of, uh, it looks like mounting equipment. So you've got the mount, I'm sure this is part of the mount as well. And then you've got the USB cable, and then you've got the um, power cord that plugs into the cigarette lighter. All right, so that's what's included with our little camera here. And let's go ahead and figure out how we use this. So before we set it up, I wanna to talk to you about the camera. I actually purchased this on Amazon. It runs about $40, but they have coupon offers, so I think I got it for like $29.99. It is a 1080. It's got um, a three inch viewing screen on the back, so that's pretty cool. There's two ways to mount it. You can mount it on your windshield or on your dashboard. It does have night vision, and it also has a 170 degree uh, wide angle, so that's pretty cool. It records in a loop, so you don't have to worry about deleting old footage. It'll just um, record every time you use it. And you can, it does support also an SD card, which you have to purchase separately. It's not included. So there's some really cool things, some cool features about it. It's got a G sensor, so if there's any sudden crashes or jerks or movements, it'll, um, go ahead and store that recording so that you don't record over it. And then it also has Intel night parking. So if there's somebody's trying to break into your car and the um, camera shakes, then it will record for 30 seconds. Too bad it's only 30 seconds, but you can hardwire it in and then that would actually allow you to uh, record longer if you really wanted to go through that. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up. The one thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your mount on. Before I do that, I want to look at the SD card. Here's where you're going to place your SD card and you want to, it doesn't come with it. So when you order one, you got to make sure that you get the little tiny one. I ordered one and it was the wrong size, which I swore I was making the right decision, but I guess not. Anyways, I'm not going to use this one on, on this camera because this is for another camera. And what will happen is when you put it into your camera, it might actually ask you to format it. So you're just gonna go into the menu setting and then press the up and down arrow to select um, the button and then it, okay. Anyways, it'll let you, it'll talk you through formatting it if you need to do that with your camera. All right, so to put the mount on, you, they give you two different options. Um, I'm gonna go with this one because I want it on my windshield. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I, all I have to do is I wanna make sure that the sticky side or the suction side is facing the lens and I'm gonna put that in there and then slide it down. If you find that it's not sliding, you can go ahead and pull it back out and then turn it the other way and then just turn this around. So it could just be facing the wrong direction. Okay, I've got my lens cover on, so we're gonna go ahead and peel that off and I've got the um, cover on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off. And then when you're mounting this to the windshield, you're gonna go ahead and take this off as well, right? And you probably might wanna wet this a little bit. And if you need to adjust it, like it'll go back and forth, okay? So whenever you, it might tilt, you don't want your camera hitting the window. So it's probably gonna tilt back a little bit, but then whenever you figure out how much you want it tilted, you're gonna go ahead and just tighten that little lever up right here on the side, just tighten that lever up. And then when you actually mount it, um, then you'll just go ahead and hit this lever here, turn this lever and that will uh, apply the section. So we'll go out and take it, we'll take it out to the car and kind of show you how that setup goes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, peel off the little protective coating there. I'm gonna wet the back of that just a little bit and then go ahead and stick it up there. We're actually placing it behind the mirror so it's just not really in the way of anything. Stick that up there and then once we have it at the angle that we want it we're going to go ahead and tighten that little um, lever on the side and then push the suction mount there so yeah it looks like we've got it mounted we're gonna go ahead and then plug it in
right in at the top. Now, the thing that gets a little fancy is the cord. The book will actually give you an idea of how to go up um, on top and kind of around the side of your car so that it doesn't have this big cord just hanging there. Um, so yeah, so now it's plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and power it on. And we're ready to go for a drive. When we took the camera out to um, go for a drive, we just had to power it on and it started right up. But the problem was it only recorded for about a minute. Actually, it never actually showed that it was recording. So it sounds like you don't need an SD card because it says um, it supports SD card and the directions kind of talk about starting it without. But it seems like you need to have an SD card. So we went ahead and inserted the one that we had. Now this is a micro SD card and it supports up to 32 gigs. So just to make sure you get the micro, I think I actually ordered the mini and that was the wrong one. So if I power this up right now, it's actually, you can see that it's recording. So if I power it up right now, you can see it's recording. And the reason it's recording is because there's a kind of a safety feature, right? So it will record for 30 seconds, even though it's not plugged in. If somebody's trying to break into your car, it will record for 30 seconds. I can see that it's recording because there's the blue light on here. And if I was charging, there would also be a red light, but I want to get out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the side. There's three buttons and I'm going to go ahead and hit the mode button. And that's going to take me out of the record. I'm going to go ahead. I'm in the camera right now. I'm going to hit mode again, and that's going to take me into the preview mode okay now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK that's that top button there so I'm in the video mode now to preview this I want to go over back to this side now there is a little bit of a learning curve so just play around with it but you've got the up and down arrow and I want to go to the video that I've already recorded I don't know if you can see that I know there's a little bit of a light reflection but there's the actual video um, from when I was driving in the car I have a clip that I'll show you where I actually um, uploaded it to my computer and viewed it on my computer. So I'll let you see that a little bit closely so that you can see how clear the um, picture actually does come out. So again, you've got that three inch screen. Okay, so now to play it, I'm just gonna hit okay, that top button there, and it will go ahead and, and play it. And here I'm just putting my seatbelt on while I'm in my car and taking off and it is recording. Okay, so you get the general idea. And there's a couple other things I wanna show you now. So I'll get out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the menu on this side again. I'm gonna click on the menu. And I don't know if you can see it because it's a little bit blue here. Um, but this top one says delete. Now I can go ahead and click on that just by hitting the okay button. And it would give me the option of deleting um, either the current video or all the video. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the menu over here on the side again, and I can scroll down. There's a protection setup. So if I wanted to do a protection lock on it, slideshow, and it looks like those are my only options there. Now the thing to note is up here, I'm in the video mode, the t video tools, and I wanna go over to um, the tool settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu again. And that takes me over to the tool setting. And this allows me to set up the date and the time. Um, it also gives you the power off option. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna hit okay. So you can see that. And this will allow me to power off after one to, one to three minutes or not at all. So it's on three right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu and get out of that. Okay, and I'm gonna go down. So you can control your beep sound, your startup sound, uh, your language, frequency. Uh, screensaver is one thing I wanna show you because when I was driving successfully and recording, the camera screen did shut off after one minute even though it was still recording. So in order to keep from doing that, if you want your screen to be showing the whole time, you can go ahead and click on the screensaver. And I, if you want your screen to go off after one minute, three minutes, or if you want to keep it on, you're actually going to hit off. So it's set for off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get out of that. And if I go down further, there's a car number. So if you have 
if you're using this, I guess, for more than one car, you could set that up. And format, here's one thing that's good to know. If you use an SD card and you have to um, format it, this is what you would wanna go into there. And um, just some the default setting and versions and nothing really that important. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and power this off now. Um, and you can see that down here there is a little battery that so even though i don't have it plugged in i'm able to run it for a little bit i could actually um, use the usb cord and plug it in to a power cord if i needed to but i'm going to just go ahead and power that off right now and then the other thing i wanted to let you know is that okay so this was the um adapter that you when i was in the car i plugged in so i plugged it into my cigarette cigarette lighter but nowadays a lot of cars don't have a cigarette lighter option so this may not be for you but if you do purchase it and you want to find an option i think that you can go ahead and purchase one where it would have a usb cord at the end instead of the cigarette lighter but you just want to make sure that you've got the right um i'm not sure what the name of this kind of uh adapter is but it's kind of a a rectangular one so you want to make sure you get the it's that big opening also you want to make sure you get the right one for that and then the other thing to note is that the um, cigarette lighter adapter here actually does have a place for a USB cord so if you wanted to plug in your cell phone or whatever while you were driving then that would be a great option so just something to know so I hope that you find this video helpful and thanks for watching